programs. World Division is working in, in 16 districts, uh, in 45 sectors, and also uh, 204 series. And in terms of village, because we normally work at the ground level, we have uh, more than 1,200 villages in our targeted communities. So in terms of programming, as uh, we are integration as we are talking about. After having the ECD minimum standard, we started thinking how strategically can we have uh, the holistic approach in, in, through our interventions as I have mentioned. Uh, that's the area where we focused in as child-focused organization. And we were able to form uh, an integrated ECD task force from the national office that we normally meet regularly on, on a quarterly basis to reflect how are we integrating our services, how are we bringing the package, the full package to the children that we are targeting in our communities, in our area of interventions. And from that perspective, that's where we started coming together with uh, joint planning from all the sectors that we are implementing in terms of program areas. That's where we started looking at, in terms of uh, health, how are we contributing to access to water, which I think yesterday was talked about by any case, and it was the coverage, the water coverage, the sanitation coverage we are having. In terms of sanitation, we are covering like 331 uh, people in terms of sanitation, but in terms of uh, hygiene, we are also having more than 333,000 uh, population. So those are some of the areas that we normally do. And currently, we are planning with RODA in terms of uh, having the social protection aspect that we are doing in our communities. So we are targeting 17 districts with RODA, and we, we are hoping to get uh, 1, 000, 1, 1 million trees that will be distributed to those households, especially the most vulnerable communities. But currently, from the achievement perspective, we are having more than 20, 28,000. And what we do normally is, first of all, to go through the empowered worldview. This is the mindset behavior that they should go in before doing any other interventions related to small livestock, related to uh, also the, the fruits that we normally, the fruit trees that we normally provide to those households to, do, to be planted at their area. So that is the, target, the, the achievement for this year. And in terms of uh, also savings for transformation, because we have seen that normally the Stunting uh, is something that also intergenerational the circle of poverty within our communities. So we are looking forward to see how best can we do in terms of empowering the communities, at least to help the children at early age, and then they will like, eradicate those circle of uh, poverty. And here we are having saving groups for transformation, and we have more than uh, 100 1,500 saving groups for transformation, and their savings are more than 79 million that the, those ca people from those categories are, sa are saving. So this is just help them in terms of sustainability and also empowerment process. We also have uh, uh, a model called Celebrating Families that is talking, is targeting basically the, the couples. How can, ha, can we have a family that has uh, peace, that has, uh, can manage their conflicts in terms of family issues? So the celebrating families is just targeting uh, families or households, but we are targeting the couples. What we do is to go into the community, we work with the local government and see who are those families that live with conflicts in their families? And then after identifying them, they come for the training 
And after the training, that's when they come together and reunite again as one family. In terms of child protection, we also do what we call uh, the campaigns. It is called, uh, it takes every Rwanda to end exploitation, and basically it is child labor and sexual abuse that we are working closely with Mije Prof and police to see how can we uh, spread the message across the country in terms of fighting against exploitation. Uh, in terms of all the interventions that we do at household level or in schools are uh, just targeting the children. We do uh, various interventions, we do construction, we do also uh, water uh, access in terms of uh, water supply, to increase the water supply, but we are targeting the population at the household level. So in terms of education, uh, specifically ECD, we have two models. Uh, one is called Go Baby Go, which is targeting the parenting aspect. How can parents get skills and knowledge to know how they can care for their children? They have various sessions in terms of uh, model, and the, children, the, the parents are currently we have more than 7,000 parents who had gone through that process of caring about their children at early age from zero to three. That's when, when a child turns to three, it's another model that helps early learning and simulation, which is learning routes. And learning routes is just basically, how can we create the environment for children, for learning, for peace, for security, for safety that can help uh, other stimulation. How are the parents able to facilitate their children in reading, in the numerous, and also in the other life skills related to early, uh, early age? So we have just seen that uh, most of the time, parents are considered as the primary teacher or the first teachers and protectors of the children. And that's why we invest most of our time into the parents, because children are like uh, innocent people who need to be cared for and to be looked after by their parents. But do they have all the skills, the competences that they deserve to cater for those children? So currently, we have more than 11,000 children that are benefiting from the ECD, constructed in partnership with the local government and also uh, in partnership with with churches, because we normally work with the existing structures at the community level to see how we can have access to early learning for children. Uh, currently, we have also another project which is uh, called uh, Evergreen and Forestry, which is targeting to produce. We have 97 uh, nursery beds for fruits and trees. And currently, we have distributed 167,000 to the area, to the districts of Bujesera, Kayonza, Gatsibo, and the Nyagatare, where we are, where that project is targeting. And with uh, Koika, we are also doing some fruit trees in the western province that is targeting those areas of Rutsiro and Ngororero, where we, we want also to have uh, access to fruit trees at the household level because they will be helping uh, in terms of nutrition the children. Uh, basically, uh, that is some of the updates and achievements in terms of uh, world vision interventions, uh, but I will also welcome my, my, my colleague to compliment. Thank you. Um, thank you, Ejidia. Um, and um, after, after listening from you about the integrated approaches from both organizations, and uh, we actually noticed that uh, both organizations are trying to have the all-in-one interventions in terms of the ECD services. Uh, now, uh, my next question goes to Mr. Felicien and Niquez uh, from both organizations uh, to, tell, uh, to tell us about some of the challenges and lessons learned at field level while implementing these integrated approaches. Uh, and feel free to share any best practices that um, have come out as an attempt to solve, to address 
the challenges encountered during the implementation at field level. Uh, I will start with you, Felicia. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kaviriji. Uh, the integration in ECD, the, it is very important, but as you know, the ECD is still young in Rwanda, so there are many challenges we are facing during the implementation of uh, uh, this program. Uh, among many of the challenges, uh, I want to mention, to talk about uh, three uh, among those challenges. The, the first challenge uh, on, be, uh, on the field basis we are observed, it is the, a big gap in um, providing of ECD services to the uh, age of three, uh, zero to three. In this uh, group, in this age, there is a big gap uh, of uh, ECD services uh, to this, uh, to this uh, group. So this underserved uh, age, however, is, you know, it is more critical, the earliest stage in the brain stimulation. So when we, you don't care or you don't for concentrate on this age, there is a, something you are not tackling to because this age it is where the brain is more uh, speed uh, developed. Another challenge uh, at the field we have been uh, observing it is a. Uh, uh, when we are providing these services, ECD, ECD services, at the age of three to six, uh, sometimes uh, the, 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 the services, some of the services are not provided. We can say there is a, a confusion or there is something uh, I can say, uh, it is a confusion. Uh, of where we, we provide or some they provide the education services on then uh, health, uh, nutrition, and the other services, child protection, uh, uh, hygiene, those services they are not provided. Or the parent, parent education, positive parenting, those services sometimes they are not, uh, they, are, they are ignored. You, you find uh, ECD and uh, ECE early childhood education, there is a confusion there at the field basis. So you find sometimes uh, ECD and ECE, there is, uh, we still have to know more, to have more knowledge concerning uh, uh, ECD and uh, ECE, so that uh, we can provide all the services, uh, health, education or child uh, uh, early stimulation, uh, hygiene, child protection, and nutrition, so that the, the integration can be observed at the early age or can be uh, fully uh, adopted uh, to the ECD services. Another challenge, uh, the, the third one is uh, uh, father's involvement. That is a big, a serious challenge because we realize uh, at uh, in the community uh, it, be it became a principle that the child care it is not um, it is not among the father's responsibilities. Uh, where the, the, the fathers their responsibility is to provide the money, to provide food and other ne uh, other needed at the family, but when it becomes to the child care, uh, this uh, uh, child stimula brain stimulation, these uh, play activities at the family level, and the other uh, issues, other activities with the child, be at the family level, be at the ECD centers, be at, at the school, it is the responsibility of the mother. So when and the mother, you know, our, our, our mothers in the community, they are very uh, loaded with a lot of activities in the family at home. So, and what we, uh, we realized, the mother cannot uh, afford to do all those things from morning to evening. Mother is busy 
from the field, from the garden, for uh, cooking, preparing, preparation, preparing the, the, the children to school and other activities. So to get the time of praying and do other things which are needed, which are required to stimulate the brain to start to take care of the children, to take care of the children concerning the IG, concerning the nutrition, to prepare that food which is uh, 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 which have all those nutrients for the child to, to grow. The mother sometimes it is uh, overloaded with all those things. Then we need uh, the challenge is that uh, father's involvement. So with, uh, that is a uh, challenge. But at the level, we try to suggest some solutions so that the father will be involved. One of them, one of the, 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 suge the suggested solution, it is to, to create something which we attract the fathers. At least to hear even these uh, services uh, are provided is IGA, income generating activities. You know, where it becomes to the, the money, the, the men we come. Uh -huh. So we try to make those uh, IGA groups so that they will come, we, sh we teach them, we show them how they can uh, start from little money and they go to the, they become rich. So when it becomes to the financial matters, the men will come. So once they come, the, at the ECD centers, where we have the ECD centers the district, uh, they meet once in a month. And that meeting for IGA, for savings activities, for uh, talking about businesses, also we talk about ECD services. We talk about positive parenting. We talk about how we can pray with the children, how we can prepare the balanced diet, how we can uh, make a home clean, how we can provide the, 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 the things, all the books, so that the, the, the children can start to, to lead at early age. So they come and we tell them, we teach them, we mobilize them. Also, there's another thing we, which we call social mobilization. We do it uh, every month uh, in partnership with the local leaders. Uh, where we they come for the uh, other meetings, then we teach them how it is very important the children to be uh, taken care of at early age. Because I've been uh, some uh, some meetings I've been attending and discussing with the, the men. They have been telling me that the, the fathers, they start to relate or to pray with the children at least uh, above three years, where a man can hold the hand of the baby, they move, they walk, they start to, to interact. But at the below or under three years, no, that is the mother's business. So it is very critical, it is very uh, serious challenge because uh, the child uh, to be taken care of positively, it takes or it requires the partnership of the, the, the mother and the, uh, and the father. That is why at the, in, in Imbuto Foundation, we don't say ECD, we add ECD and F. It means ECD and family program. Because family must be involved. In the family, it is a man and a woman. So they have to collaborate. They have to, to have the same understanding so that they can take care of uh, the children. Those are the, the some challenges uh, we have been uh, going through at the field level. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Felicien. And um, the floor is now over to you, Nikes, uh, to to tell us about the challenges and the ch lessons learned at field level. Yeah, thank you. I will start with the lessons learned. Um, for what vision you have learned a lot, and um, of course with the huge contribution of the government of Rwanda, which is creating um, nice ground rule to working as partners. 
And uh, as my, co my colleague said, a lot have been done and we are trying to do a lot of things. But one of the lessons learned is that um, when we started different programs, we were passionate, each one of us, about her sector specific. We're bringing many messages around nutrition, many messages about economic empowerment, many messages around education. And when we were trying to put this in action, we realized that they are not producing the expected results. And when we did a thorough analysis, we saw that we are um, just pushing the community to move why they don't have clear hope and clear motivation to achieve uh, optimum growth of our children. So that's why we said before introducing all technical message or technical interventions, we need to create a ground route for the community or for household to receive all those messages. And that's why we come up with two models that Egidia talked about, which like creating a ground route and bring positive motivation to the families and society to jump in in the move of improving development or bringing them to, to the movement of fighting against malnutrition and ensuring that our children are growing well. So she talked about the two models that I want to highlight, which we see is as really basic before we intervene or we bring community in other things, which is the empowered world view. So when we take a family and we tell them this is a message, you should do exclusive breastfeeding for having a child who is healthy for the future. Sometimes it's hard for them to really receive that message because for her what matters is to live tomorrow, is to receive something to eat for today and that's all. But when you create with a forward world view, a better vision about the world and a better vision about tomorrow, how far she can go and create that positive motivation and hope in her it's creating a very strong route where we add on other program, other interventions, and which will be sustainable and which we enter in easily because we have created a strong motivation of hope and bright future for her or the family. And she talked about another one called uh, celebrating families. It's also another approach which complementing empowered world view. After having individual person having that willing or positive motivation for the bright future, we want to have a family with that same move. It's where we deal with different conflicts which may arise in families due to different conflicts or to due to different benefits which will be brought by projects which might have happened due to the benefits that a man is bringing. You will see when uh, some people are presenting, or yesterday when someone from global communities was presenting, we're talking about giving uh, small livestock, and we do it uh, with other intervention. Maybe we give a car, we give um, another type of intervention. And the, that itself can create conflict in the family and not lead to the intended benefit of that service. That's where before doing other intervention, we try to put the, we to ensure that the family have a strong harmony, and then you bring other intervention. So for us, we saw that um, having the two basic um, interventions at the beginning to create a positive motivation and hope in the family, and then ensure you minimize the risk of conflict, it's a basic ground when you want to add on those integrated services. Um, that is what I call and just best practices uh, at the field and which we saw that it's bringing really strong impact. And with those models we are creating, we are working closely with law government and also with church leaders who are really influential at our communities and who are like um, having the voice when we talk of community, they really and try to understand what they mean. About challenges, uh, of course, any development progress or project initiative, they can be done without challenges. And one of the challenges are more internal. We you have that the government realized that you should work in an integrated way, but sometimes some of us or some, some of the intervention are just being done cascaded. You see a family is receiving specific intervention to nutrition, 
but there is no way the family is having integrated services or integrated package. That's why we say maybe we should look at how each every household went being a lord or identified as beneficiaries for some of those program we are doing should receive it as a package, not as a separated um, intervention. We can say in other words, to reinforce more about coordination for intervention at household and low community levels. We think that's something which needs to be reinforced. If one of the NGOs is bringing one package, which NGO is bringing another intervention, and how are they contributing to a household level integrated package? Lastly, I will talk also about the reporting of those interventions. It will be better also to look at how the reporting should come in an integrated way, not just reporting specific intervention for household, but also the report should come as integrated report, talking about all the package, how it have reached community level and household level. Thank you. Um, thank you, Nikes. Uh, now, moving to the audience. Uh, after hearing about what the, the, the packages the organizations are offering in terms of ECD and family initiatives, uh, I will open the floor uh, for questions um, and uh, I will request the protocol to, to help us with, with, the, with moving the microphones uh, in the audience. Uh, we, shall, uh, we will take uh, four interventions uh, for the interest of time, uh, and we'll make sure that uh, the panelists will remain in the room uh, for any other questions that may be raised thereafter. Uh, and um, as a reminder, uh, you are reminded that uh, outside in the exhibition space, uh, you, can, you can still visit the stands of the organizations and learn more about these integrated approaches. So. Um, I will hand over the floor to the audience for any questions uh, that uh, can be raised. So uh, there is one intervention here at the front. You're welcome. Good morning. Thank you very much. Um, my name is David Rugaju. I work for Right to Play. Thank you very much for the elaborate um, presentations. The, <clears throat> the temptation here for, for, for us is to actually take on as much as possible because we feel that there are gaps. So you bring in this package, that, uh, this piece, that piece, and then you have a package. So you have already potential challenge to manage the full package. Now, additionally, and this is where my question is, we have, we, have, we have seen from experience very successful mobilization activities, campaigns, that eventually raise demand, and you have so many people coming to, 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 to the service, especially the center-based services. Now, from, again, from my experience here, in Rwanda, we have had very successful campaigns with primary education, especially for access. And we had, you know, overwhelming numbers. Mm -hmm. We did not actually prepare very well for the challenges of, of, of this demand. Very huge expansion, very fast, and that compromised the quality. How? Are we taking that into account? How are we using the lessons from, for example, the primary uh, education uh, quality uh, challenges and, and, and applying it to address the, the potential challenges that we, we will see with the ECD services? Uh, the, the, this is just a comment, and I think uh, we tend to, to, to describe families as uh, husband, wife, and, uh, and so on. But I think we are also seeing some, and I don't know how we are helping, families that are single, where we, don't, where we have a single mother, family, and, and so on. And families where we don't have, we don't have the, 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 
maybe I'll leave that. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, David. Um, do we have another question? Uh, there is someone else, uh, there's someone behind on the third row. Thank you. Um, Asteri Nyirahabimana from University of Rwanda College of Education, um, an assistant lecturer in the, the Department of Childhood and Primary Education. Uh, thank you, presenters, for what has been achieved as far as ECD services are concerned. But I've got a question. Yesterday we, we have received presentations from different uh, ministries involved in this ECD services, and they shared with us how they have uh, a joint planning. I would like to know if also these NGOs, being international, local, national, if they have also that joint planning. Why? Because we realize that each NGO is covering a given area of the country, and yet this ECD services, I think, is a concern of the whole country. So I'm afraid if some parts of the country, some districts, may not be left behind with these ECD services. So I would like to know if there is a kind of framework where you share and plan together, of course, uh, implement and monitor together and evaluate together. Again, uh, from Imbuto Foundation presentation, one of the challenges you mentioned is that uh, so far, EC is a little bit uh, moving well, if I may say so. But ECDC, Early Childhood Development Centers, where we have to offer services to those children under three years. With the three years, they go to school. But under three years, you said it's a still uh, a challenge. So I would like to know what you are planning to do to, to address that challenge also. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Asteri. Um, there, is a, there, is, so there is a hand raised on the second row of the, in the center, and one over close to the entrance, so we shall take those two and hand over the floor to the panelists uh, to react. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Priska Jawayezu. I'm the vice mayor in charge of social affairs in Nyamagabe district. Um, let me explain my feeling, my ideas in Kinyarwanda, really to interact with for the whole sure. Sure. participants. Um, ECD, Igahunda, 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 ni gahunda ababyeyi bakiye neza mu gihugu niba hari gahunda itaratugoye mu kuyikora mobilization nk'abantu turi kuri tere ni ugusobanura ababyeyi uburyo bagomba kwita kubana cyane cyane yumaze kubasobanura uburyo stunting igira ingaruka mbi ku mwana igi hatangiye gukora barabyumvisa mwenye no kwitandukanya na malnutrition ubu rero barabyitabira ahatari za ICD bara kingura ingoze aba bagashyira mu mwabana nibintu byiza cyane ariko rero none nkaje nibaza ese barabikora kubera ko koko babyumise cyangwa barabikora kubera ko babone uko leta iri mu gushyira mu imbaraga kugira ngo abana babone amata babone igikoma aha rero ndadvocating kugira ngo leta ikomeze idufashe aya mata iyi support yo kugira ngo babone amafaranga baguri ibikoma kuko nko mu gihe kigiye kuza cyo muki haba hari ibiryo bikeye kugira ngo ziriya ICD home based zizakomeze ari amata ifuye igikoma nibindi biryo bazakomeze kubibona kuko biramutse bihagaze kandi byaratangiye babana basubira mu miryango yabo tukongera tugasubira muri cyakibazo cy'a malnutrition na stunting ubwo rero icyo navugaga ni kugira ngo dukomeze twese na partners tubiteganyirize fund 
ku buryo hazashira ngo imyaka nk'ibitatu bari supported kugira ngo hagata aho ngaho nako tufasha ababyeyi kubyumva neza no kubyo kubigira ibyabo igihe imfashanyo zizatakibonetse bazamenye gukoresha ibyo beza noneho bakomeze ya activity yo ku gushyira abana hamwe mu bikomboneza mikuriro kubera ya package ya service bahabonera byiza rero turabishima kandi ikintu mwavuze cyuko hakiri gaps kugira ngo nababyeyi babagabo bitabire nako tugiye kugikwaho tugiye kugikora nkuko mwabivuze nabo ntabwo ari babi ahubwo ni umuco wacu niko barizwe kubakira abana nabo nabwo bigeze bumva ko bagomba kwita kuri barumu nababo byabagarishu yabakobwa kiretse muri famiye z'abagazitara bya yabakobwa aho rero niho mvuga yuko nabyo nitubishiramo imbaraga muri mobilization abagabo bazagenda baza kuko no mu migoro babyeyi byatangiye byitwa akagoro bakabagore biza kwevura byitwa akagoro bakaba ku muryango ubu ni umugoro wa umuryango barahahurira bose ntabwo rushidikanya ko nabagabo n'iki kintu tugikora aho bazakitabira nkuko tubivuga kandi bigomba kwitabirwa nabagabo kugira ngo wamwana kuko akure yuma ko ari wo mu muryango iki rero cya confusion entre ICD na ICE ni ikibazo koko hari abantu usanga bagombye kwa bari muri ICE wisangira muri ICD ntabwo tubasubiza inyuma bose turabakira ariko rero nugasanga ibyo twakagombye gukorera abana bo muri ICD abo muri ICE baje kubivumbaho kubera nero ni za nasari zikiri nkeya ku mashuri no kugira ngo ababyeyi amenye gutandukanya abana bajya muri ICD nabajya muri ICE eh uh, bamenye kubohereza kwayo mashuri ariko nayo ntabwo ari abameshi niyo mpamvu inziri kiri rende kugira ngo dukore hombi dukore mu bigo mboneza mikurire ariko tunakora kuri za nasari hafi ya hamashuri yubatse kugira ngo abana batangire nabo kumenya gutangira kujya kwiga programu zo muri ICE ubwo kuri national level ministere education na afatanya bikorwa cyo kintu mukomeze kugitekerezaho nacyo buhoro buhoro kizagenda gisobanuka tekandi kiraho ngaho ndakora gubwo buvugizi kugira ngo tutazasubira inyuma naho uri ni byiza cyane kandi birafite akamaro kuko bera dukiye muri bazo byinshi bya makimbirane mu miryango abagabo ni bamara kumva ko uburere bw'abana bubareba nabagore bakabigira ibyabo na ya makimbirane agenda ashira kandi none ibintu byo kwimakaza isuko abana baradufasha gukosora ababyeyi uko yavuye muri CD cyangwa muri nasara ya gataha kagenda mbere yo kumugabura akabanza kubwira amaka gomba gukaraba ababyeyi bwo nabo butwara bibigishije bahita nabo babigira ibyo bakumva ko hari ikintu kiri mu guhinduka iyi programu rero ni programu nziza turakomeza kuyikora naho twizera ko tuzagira abaturage mu myaka iri imbere koko noneho bajijutse kandi bari mu kigero kimibereho myiza nkuko tubyifuza murakoze aho murakoze cyane uh, the floor over to you. Uh, just remember to keep the intervention short for the interest of time. Okay. Uh, my question goes to Nikes intervention with regard to the, the way or the model they are using in the household uh, to avoid some conflict. Because I agree with her, some intervention, whether it's uh, uh, aiming to increase the way being in the household, should be sometimes the, some conflict, so should there be some conflict instead of being an increase of household way being in the peace. Uh, she said about some uh, livestock distribution, some uh, money, maybe earning from some uh, activity uh, like saving. Uh, some, sometimes couples should not understand the way the use of and the, uh, the importance of uh, being participating in some program. I agree with her. Uh, she said that there is a kind of uh, model they are using uh, before any intervention to, or to, to bring together, I don't know if there is whether a meeting for each cup, each household within the coverage area 
to, inter to explain before uh, an intervention, maybe we should also meet some challenge. I know to, uh, I want to be uh, more clear, uh, to inspire us. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for, for the questions. And um, uh, we have four interventions. Um, one by David Rugajou about uh, the management of the, the, the whole package and as well as um, the big demand that is created by the campaigns of mobilizations of parents uh, where we might have a Nova subscription in the future if it's not planned ahead of time. So, and um, uh, for that one, I would like uh, the NECDP coordinator to react about that and uh, at coordination level because, again, uh, it's not understood from the perspective of just two implementing organizations. It's at uh, coordination level. And the, question, the second question uh, raised by Asteri um, about whether the NGOs have a joint planning. Uh, that one uh, I, will, I will also like um, Gladys and Egidia to take, to take half a minute both to share the experiences about that. And um, the third one raised by the Vice Mayor of Nyamagavi District uh, is more of uh, in advocacy and, compliment and, and complementing uh, what has been uh, presented and we appreciate the commitment uh, of uh, supporting the organizations in, in improving the father's involvement. Uh, and the fourth question uh, will be addressed by Nikes uh, about the conflict resolution uh, and the earnings. So um, I will start with Gladys and Egidia uh, addressing the joint planning question and then uh, over to Nikes for the, for, for the question raised by Anatoly and then ha hand over to the coordinator of NACDP to address uh, the question of the oversubscription. Thank you, moderator. Uh, and thanks for, for the interesting questions. Um, so for the question of, of um, joint planning, we have different uh, platforms um, established by NCDP where we meet uh, on a quarterly basis to update each other on, on uh, different activities that we are, we are conducting and all of that. And I think also NCDP, um, for the worry that, that maybe we might concentrate in some area and not others, NCDP has done a mapping of intervention all around the country. So uh, once we go to our next district to start intervention, we, we consider that. And um, once we go to a district also uh, for, for, uh, for intervention, we consult the local authorities to know where the need is in, in, uh, in their um, in, in their sectors. So I don't know if um, that responds a little bit to your question. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then I think there was also a question about the gap of the zero to three uh, addressed by uh, one of our colleagues. And that one, um, I think it's the same colleague. That one, the zero to three gap, what we try to do at Inbuto Foundation is that we have um, a comp an approach uh, dedicated to that specific age group, which is home visitation uh, program, where we visit uh, families to, to teach them about positive parenting and all the integrated uh, services provided at the center. And, um, so that's an attempt solution. We can't uh, really um, have the children at the center because they are at early age and we don't have uh, enough, uh, I guess, staff to, to, to take care of them. But we, we do, um, we empower the parents to actually uh, know how to take care of the kids. And then also I think there are some organizations like ADFC that have started working in uh, places like tea companies where um, they, they take care of, of, of kids that are younger because moms are close by. So those are, those are organizations that works close to the workplace. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
In regard to joint planning, I think we have platform, as my colleagues has mentioned, from the central level. We have the technical working groups that always do the joint planning by just sharing, coming together on a quarterly basis, and then you share uh, or you update what you are doing in terms of ACD. But also at the local level, we have JAF at the district level, I think. Uh, the vice mayors and other local leaders who are in this forum can tell us more about that. But we know that every NGO at the local level has to be registered, from the central level up to the district level. And whoever is registered has to be in that forum of JAF, Joint Development Forum. So you share the plan. You do the implementation, and then they come for evaluation. They do the monitoring on a quarterly basis, but also the evaluation at the end of the, the year to ensure that what you have shared as a plan, have you achieved it? If you have not achieved it, what was the constraint? What was the challenge? And this is, it happened across our, our districts. So uh, I think uh, this joint planning and that uh, in perspective of the partners, but also in terms of local level. But maybe we need to know if we do the joint planning, why is it not maybe done well or maybe achieved as expected? But that is there. Thank you. Thank you. Over to you, Nikes. On the question related to celebrating families, thank you for the question, Natalie. I would like to say that uh, the specific package is, is being done uh, as a way of reinforcing other big activities being done at national level. We know that there are other forums and other mass campaigns targeting the whole community to reduce conflict in families. We have, um, as I've been saying, uh, to go about Kobabjeyi. Those, all those are forums that uh, try to address or minimize the conflict uh, in families. But that specific model starts with a specific group of households who are being allowed to receive the package model. So in collaboration with the local communities, uh, we identify specific families based on the criteria to be allowed in the integrated program. Those families to start, we, we have a database in collaboration with RODA of 3,000 3, families to pass through that big, um, big uh, integrated model. But those families were specifically identified based on their Ubude category. But we recognize as one vision that those are not all vulnerable families. So it's up to each sector or co-communities to identify more families who are at high risk of being exposed to risk of conflict or exposed to malnutrition based on different factors. There is a f the list of factors which we look at to see that a family is really preferred or priority to be allowed in that program. And those families, what we do is not just going to tell them, do A, B, C, D. We have a training of five days, which we take through those families, and they learn about different components. It gives them the room for discussion, for exchanging kind of homework. It creates a communication way and to create together like a future vision for the family, where they want to go. And after then is where we have household visits, but following those um, that, that big training of five days. And today maybe I can react a little bit on the question raised by David, even though the ECD coordination team will talk about it. When we go to house or family after that training, like for the case of World Vision, we don't go and bring all the package together. But it's a journey with the family. It took around 12 months or two years to take the family in the whole process. We go step by step. And we try to assess at which level the family is and which specific innovation should be there. Like when we go to there, we ensure the environment is clean. 
is where we said we supply clean water, we ensure there's existing health portal, health family, uh, health service nearby. We ensure the community of worker system is strong. We ensure that there is an ECD nearby. Those environmental structures are in place. And then at household level is where we say these families facing the issue of food security. And then the food security comes and says, okay, can we start with a goat, a rabbit, or chicken based on the level of economic? And then they try that. One another component of sanitation or sector of water sanitation hygiene is coming to say or assess the status of their sanitation facilities. And the education is looking, how about the children? How are they being educated? So we try not to overwhelm the family with the whole intervention at once, but it's a journey. Thank you. And, uh, thank you very much for the intervention. And um, the floor is over to you, the coordinator, to address uh, the question raised by David. Thank you. Murakuzi, uh, first of all, to the panelists for a good uh, discussion. Thank you very much. Kuri bimwe mu bibazo biri mu kuganirwaho ku kibazo kijyanye na raising demand David mwavuzeho kuba turi mukora you know we are raising demand when on the supply we are not yet ready i think uh, we need to look at it from the perspective of ni ingenzi cyane kuko nibasobanukirwa they will also invest ni dutegereza ko government nabandi wa partners kuri national level bache bamanuka tukagira kuri district level ariko nabwo kubera ubushobozi buba dashoboye kugira mu midugu yose ugasanga nago turi hose tuzatakaza umwanya yuko ababyeyi bagasobanukiwe nabo bakakuyo investment kuko dutegereje ko supply iba in place kandi ndi mistake nini twaba dukoze nukumva yuko leta nabafatanya bikorwa batari mababyeyi na communities ko aribo bagomba gukora uh, ibijyanye na investment in all years so the way we look at it is it's important that they understand the importance of investing in all years and they also contribute from the very word go if we keep on keeping quiet about it because supply is not yet in place then uh, we, we believe we'll be getting it wrong so that is the uh, reason and of course in anything you do you create more challenges but you sort them out i think that's why we live uh, you know, Ariko have an improvement already demand yongere. Who demand need yongera to zakome as a generation after generation, umunavogati, no wound in Angina, now good knees, Navaj. Okay? Ariko could do come as a two of Gira Quadio investment, Yambe, Babana, Babu Mumidiango. They will get involved, and trust me, they have already started being involved. You to visit home based ECDs. Now, we have to do the same thing. We have to do the same thing. We have to do the same the importance of the government. So, we will continue to create the demand even if the supply is not 100 yet in place. It's because we believe the parents uh, have to be involved and the communities in actually also responding to the, to the supply side. Uh, I would also like to touch on uh, two other components, if, if I may, moderator. Yes, please. Could uh, you question Ijani and Igute about partners now about Shirahamwe Kujango activities, very Mugukora, you know, resources were fitted to making a shock to us, Jesha Hotugomba Kuzijeza. In a way, Nayo to if it if the responsibility in the government. I have been to national level. I have been ECD subcluster. I have partners who have intervening in ECD. I have been to the National level. 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 I have been to the 
kugira ngo indeed tube tuzi resources dufite mu gihugu at one time tunamenye aho tuziganisha bitewe na needs zihari na gaps zihari ariko ndaza gusaba vashime ya wakayonza adusangize byumwe hari ko hariyo batangiye that i have been hearing of our partners bench muri area ya early childhood development aze kutubwira ibyo bamaze kugera ho wenda byana dufasha na hand and then i nuvaga also igitekerezo kiza vice mayor priska giruti rwose ni turebe muri imyaka ya mbere uburyo ibiri mu gutuma nababyeyi bitabira gushuko bakitabiye dutangira bikoma kuba bihara at least mu myaka ya mbere nagira ngo tunarebere hamwe tureba ingero nziza uh, ari gikurire jo barazitubwiye ari global communities barazitubwiye ari mbut foundation barabikora ari world vision barabikora ba partners bench bari mu kugenda badukorera presentations barabitubwira baza namu na component yo gushira hamwe ababyeyi bagakora ikintu cha savings bo kugira ikintu nabo bakora kigaturuka muri bo yego leta nabafatanya bikorwa bazakuzakuza you know amafaranga bashakishe ariko uko dutangira dutangira ibintu byose tubifatanya banabiganiye bavuga uburyo duhuza izi interventions kugira ngo hato ubwo bushobozi mutazanashira wenda nacyo ababyeyi biyubatsimo so numba ari ikintu tugomba kwiga neza aho tutaraba kumva zanti ni dutumira abamaze kubikora handi bazi baruganize ese babikora gute iyo saving schemes bazikora gute aba you know harabatangira kugicera cya 50 harabatangira kucijana ariko bikabafasha bakajya faranga bashira uruhande kandi rwose ugasanga mu gihe kitari kinini hari ibintu bashobora kwikorera uyego as i said na nizindi resources zikomeza tuzishaka ariko very important tujitangira yuko tuzana miyo element ya savings kandi izadufasha kandi hari aho twabyigira bagenzi bacu bagiye babitubwira so please just a few words from the vice mayor wakayonza atubwira uko babigezeho nabo murakoze cyane kuma umwanya kugera mu kengere icyo mvuga kuri experience mu karere ka Kayonza wenda yagira ikimarira abandi bitavuga yuko Kayonza iri perfect ariko binasobanura yuko abantu bashyiza mwe bashora kugira icyo bageraho kandi gifatika mu byukuri Kayonza impere ku kimirire mibi cyangwa nutrition ntago twari duhagaze neza twari duhagaze nabi hafi ya ya nabi cyane ariko turi icara no bafatanya bikorwa kuko mu byo abantu bari kuri pano bakomeje kuvuga mwabonye ko byose bisa hafi ya byose birasa kuri ya gusa ko abyo rewe wenda abantu bagabashobora kubikosha mu buryo butandukanye na none baba batatangije imbaraga byatumye rero tuvuga ngo partners dufite twahura dute twaganira dute kugira ngo duhuze imbaraga ko umugenerwa bikorwa rumwe niyo yabara ahantu hatandukanye twabigenza dute turi cyane dukora plan hamwe tureba budget ya buri muntu dukora na assessment y'ibibazo bihari ah ibyo bibazo tuzakubona hari mu kibazo kimirire mibi nare muze kuga yuko twari duhagaze nabe hafi ya nabe cyane ariho stunting turi ku 42 ariko mu gihe tubikoze kitari kiregere kuko muri plan twihaje mu gukora na screening buri gihembe twaje kubona imibare yaramanutse tugeze munsi ya 25 ku ijana bitewe n'iki rero no guplaningira hamwe tumaze guplaningira hamwe dukora ikimeze nka research ariko sinavuga kwiri deep nta nindi budget dukoresha zuritse ya indi mu bafatanya bikorwa n'ubundi dukora no munsi kuwundi tujya kuri buri rugo twasuye ingo zigera muri 2000 no tukavuga uru rugo ko rufite ikibazo kimirire mibi ibindi bibazo biri muri urugo rwo nibihe hanyuma uwo muryango urifuza iki cyatuma bava mu bibazo buri wese yagaragazaga icyo yumva yakenera kugira ngo ibibazo biri mu rugo bihave 
ugasanga umwe wenda ravuga ati ngewe mbonye inkoko mbonye ngube mbonye hene mbonye aho mpera kugira ngo nkore saving ibibazo byose nabifa dufata zo ngo turazigabana partners ubwo ni bumvuga kuvuga ngo turi mu nde nkora mu murenge uyu n'uri yakora muri uyu ariko noneho nazango nizihe ni kwande nande bafite umwana witwa nde bafite ikihe kibazo twabafasha iki iyo rero byadufashe kugira ngo twatake ikibazo tuzi cyaricyo kurutuko abantu bahura bakavuga gusa ariko result kuri tere ntiboneke zango partners barazigabana kandi buri wese icyo yemeye gukora muri ya budget asanzwe akoresha aragikora na mobilization mu rugo irakorwa no kuri radio ndetse partners biyemeje gukoresha radio communauté radio zone yo dukoresha cyane bishyura ikiganiro mu gihe cy'umwaka wose bivuga ngo partners igihe cyari cyo cyose umwe n'ubuyobozi bwa karere bagomba kugira kuri radio buri cyumweru bagatanga ikiganiro kandi tugashishikariza n'abaturage kugikurikirana aha rero icyo navuga cyane no guplaningira hamwe icya kabiri no kumenya ibibazo bihari abantu bakarwana n'ikibazo bazi cyari cyo kandi budget bihari nubundi tudusanzwe tuyikoresha buri wese ayifite ikindi ni mobilization ihuriweho abantu bose bakagenda bavuga bimwe nubwo bagiye ahantu hatandukanye hanyuma havuzwe no kwica ICD ICD twazonye nk'igisubizo none gituma ababiye yoba involved mu nshingano zawo ariko iwitaye kubana gusa wa wasanze mu rugo wa wasanze muri ICD ababiye ukabareka stay ukomeza kugira ikibazo ni ngombwa yuko abana muri ICD yaba community ICD yaba home based baba bahari ariko nanone ababiye nawo ku ruhande bakaba bari mu bindi bitari buri munsi ni ura rimwe mu cyumweru bagahura ni buruza ni giceri muri ya save twavugaga akakizana niba ari uh, itsinda ryahisemo gukora ikintu runaka none bagahabwa support nk'itsinda aho kugira ngo bahabwe support umuntu kugitike kuko twabonye nabyo bitanga umusaruro ndumva narekera aha ngaha gusa nashima panelist kuko ibyo bari mu kutuvugira nibyo biri kuri ground ariko kuri ground nubundi bakamanuka tukajya nayo kandi tukabona ibisubizo neza murakoze cyane murakoze cyane vice mayor and coordinator so um, for more interventions uh, we, we shall we shall like to we will like to communicate that the panelists remain in the room uh, but for the interest of time i uh, will not be taking more interventions on this panel uh, so for now we are closing the panel and uh, I, would, I would like to thank the panelists for the interventions and to the audience uh, thank you very much mumbabare kwangiye kuvuga pano irangiye murakoze nitwa Jardine Umutesi Nkorambuto Foundation harakantu kamwe gusa nshaka kunganiraho kubijyanye na ICD na ICE ikibazo kikunze kubaho muri confusion nkuko mubibona kuri theme yacu harimo ikintu cya human capital development cyangwa se gushyira ubushobozi mu kuba ku muntu wuzuye bijyana n'icyerekezo cyacu nk'igihugu twihaye cyo kuba ku muntu ufite ubumenyi ushoboye kandi utekanye haba muri ngira ngo igitera confusion cyane cyangwa igitera impaka no kutamenya aho bitandukanira nuko twumva ko isi ari ukwiga gusa kandi abana bafite imyaka itatu gera kuri itandatu tuba dukomeza kubaha ya bindi byose bigize ICD integrated package nkumva narimbi numvise ntage ntabivuze kwa kwa ari wicyo visme yavuze ati abana bo muri ICD harubwo baza kuvumba abo muri ICE bikaza gusanga akenshi abantu menshi dutekereza kubijyanye na nutrition 
kubera ko nyine twagize ikibazo gikomeye cyane cya stunting ariko numva dukwiriye kureba components zose ibirabice byose duha umwana kugira ngo twubake umuntu ufite ubumenyi umuntu shoboye kandi umuntu tekanye hanyi mu kintu ashaka kuvugaho uh, ni cyo mugenzi wacu yavuze ngo famiye igisobanuro tuyiha famiye no umuntu wese ukurikirana umwana ufite inshingano zo gukurikirana umwana niko tumureba the, the, the children guardians niko tubareba ntabwo tureba gusa ngo iyi famiye niba ari umubyeyi wibana ntabwo tumureba bose turabareba numva iyo confusion rero yavaho ari uko dukomeje gushyira mu mutwe wacu kubaka umuntu wuzuye the human capital development tukareba bira bintu bitatu murakoze thank you very much uh, sorry yes uh, arakoze cyane mugenzi wacu picking your component kindi kintu turimo gukora kugira ngo bizakunde we recognize you ko uh, abari mu kwiga ibi ndabivuga kuko nzi ko muri audience dufite abo muri TTCs abize muri TTCs uh, bigishijwe component imwe ya early childhood development ari yo ECE the early learning only turi mu uh, discussions ya advanced hagati ya, ya NCDP ndetse na na REB na Duke kugira ngo curriculum yabiga muri TTC tukonje mu components zose zirebana n'imikurire y'umwana i think cyo nico kimwe on ground gikomeza gufuelinga uh, early learning you know brought out of the whole component of uh, early childhood development bizana dufasha ariko tutaranagira yo ubwo muri muri cyumba twagize amahirwe mu kaza tukaganira mu byumve yuko Early childhood education is just one component of early childhood development. Ni nyingi mwe mu nyingi eshanu kugira ngo tukubuke umwana nkuko mugenzi wa Geraldine yabitubwiraga. Murakoze cyane. Um, ladies and gentlemen, for those who uh, wish to have uh, translation facilities, they are available at the back, and you could perhaps reach out to one of the protocols in the room. Um, we can move on. Uh, we would like to invite you for a very short break of like five to ten minutes, after which we're going to go back to the concurrent sessions. So in this room, in Kilimanjaro room, we will have a discussion on uh, the approaches of early childhood development plan uh, programming, a conversation and a paper presented by Research Program on Child, Children and Adversity, Boston College. There will also be another paper presented by Global Communities and another paper presented by uh, Partners in Health and Save the Children. That's in this room. In uh, Rubavu Ballroom, we'll have a topic on opportunities, entry points, and coordination of early childhood development programs. There will be a paper presented by Save the Children and UNICEF. In Muhazi and Virunga Ballroom, we're going to have a conversation on the role of fathers and mothers in the implementation of early childhood development programs and their sustainability. This will be a conversation between the National Women Council and the Rwanda Men's Resource Center. Thank you very much. Uh, let's, let's all head for our short break and go into the concurrent sessions. Thank you very much.